Size like cornea can come from two different places. One can be the seed, and another can be the soil. In longer rotations, the seed piece will be the most important part of the pear. In this case, the seed has decayed and it's gone. But in our trials, we actually put the fungus in the soil. So the fungus is in this area where the plant is growing. And it infects the roots. There the stolen has been clipped off. And that's the most severe symptom of rhizot canker because the tuber won't form out here. So as a result, the plant has fewer tubers and they tend to get large and misshapen. And so the percentage of coals goes up. You also have this striated brown lesion on the stem, which when it's severe it can cause a drop in yield. When we do our evaluations, we make sure we look at both the stolen and the main stem. If the stems were completely clean and then stolons were clipped off, it would get a minimum of a 10% rating based on our scale. Typically, though, there's a tight correlation. As you have more rhizoctonia in the main stem, you have more damage on the stolons. So in this case, where these stems are close to 90% covered, you can see these, these two stolons have been clipped off due to rhizoctonia. There's very few potatoes on this plant. In this case, the entire stem, main stem, has become infected. And some of the roots. In this case, it was so bad, it clipped off the stem. And the plant had to send up another stem around the back. As Octonia is really severe, you will see a difference in tuber production. In this plant, there's not much infection. There's a little, there are a few lesions here that are somewhat severe, but the majority of the stems look good. You see the tubers that we have over here. Compare that to this plant, which has severe infection, and the tuber production is much reduced. And this is why in severe cases we have a reduction in yield when rise octonia.